religiously, pumping about ten times the amount of air and blood we need when we're relaxed. The heart's double-barreled pumping action propels blood through the system under great pressure. This is how it sounds, recorded with a tiny microphone inside a living body. Blood, the river of life, journeys endlessly through 60,000 miles of blood vessels. Blood's main function is carried out on the cellular level. Oxygen, water, and nutrients are delivered to every body cell, and waste products are collected. A complete tour, out from the heart and back, takes less than a minute, from vessels one inch in diameter to capillaries and venules so small that blood cells must line up to squeeze through one at a time. Even during the most commonplace of our daily routines, our bodies are the scenes of dramatic action. Facing the threat of invasion by hostile bacteria or other foreign organisms, the body mobilizes for defense. <laughs> Among its donut-shaped red cells, the bloodstream contains a small, highly mobile strike force, leukocytes, white cells. Wriggling about under its own power, a leukocyte seeks out, attacks, and consumes a foreign invader. White blood cells are both warriors and scavengers. In addition to their battlefield duties, they help cleanse the bloodstream of debris. of thick and tough muscle, the heart is a marvel of mechanical performance. Beating 70 times a minute, it pumps 2,000 gallons a day. One-way valves prevent blood flow from backing up. Merely the size of a fist and weighing less than a pound, the body's dynamo pumps 55 million gallons in a lifetime. regarded as the temple of the soul or the seat of intelligence, the heart and its corridors nonetheless inspire awe and reverence for the beauty and efficiency of nature's design. Mm -hmm. 